Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. I'm bringing you something a little bit different today. I'm getting a lot of requests. People are asking me, what's the best playbook to use right now? What's the best playbook out? Uh, but basically, I thought instead of giving you my top five playbooks or trying to act like I know everything about this game that just came out, which is impossible, I thought I would do reviews. And what I would base my criteria on, uh, what I think is a good playbook or a bad playbook, is essentially uh, what I know works off of last year uh, that still works in this uh, Madden. And also, so, you know, what I think uh, looks looks good, things that look interesting, routes that I, that I would be interested in working with. What I want to do is probably do by each division, but I'm not really sure. Um, you know, I'd like to do the whole NFC and the whole AFC, but I don't know. That video might be long. So we're just going to go ahead and start by division. If I, if I breeze through it quick, uh, maybe we'll do the entire NFC in this video. But first of all, one of my favorite playbooks is the Eagles playbook. I am an Eagles fan. But it has nothing to do with it. It's a really good playbook. Let's go ahead and let's get looking at it real quick. Uh, this is a really good uh, pass or running formation right here. The wing tight. I mean, you see all the blocking. Um, there's some interesting pass concepts, although I wouldn't say too many are that dynamic. But uh, with with the new blocking system and uh, whatever they call it, the uh, the weak box system, anything time you have multiple tight ends like that or the wing tight Z, you're going to have a really good blocking advantage, which is really key in this game. So these are two really good running formations. Another one right here, wing pair. A couple of decent pass plays in this as well. Um, skinny Post is a play that's been working for a long time. Some interesting looking plays here. So, uh, like I said, the Eagles playbook, if I had to say what playbook out right now, oh, they even have the PA, uh, the wide receiver quick and the, and the PA fake quick, which wasn't in the playbook last year. So, if I had to say what playbook right now is an early front runner for one of the best playbooks in the game, the Eagles is up there. Here's a single back A slot. That PA scissors flood looks pretty interesting. Uh, um, so you know that's that's about it for the single back. So this is this is a really good the iPhone play. That's the only iPhone play they have. A, a couple of decent run plays here. Uh, the PA boot flow is pretty good uh, without too much setup. Some good run plays there. Uh, the pistol. It's only got one pistol formation, and probably the only good play is the PA post shot. But I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, the way that the receiver's running that all the way out to the side there. But the strong power is nasty. So another really good run play. This is a really good running playbook. Uh, the counter why. Um, that's uh, you know that's that's a pretty decent run play. Uh, the very good running playbook. Bottom line, decent plays, nothing too spectacular in, in the gun formations. Um, like I said, the, the the gun formations are kind of basic. I'm not I'm not too impressed with them. But that's it's the only formation that I'm not too impressed. Everything else uh, looked really good. So I would say as a whole, uh, like I said, the Eagles are definitely a contender. Uh, for one of the best playbooks in the game right now. So I'm going to go ahead and look, go to the next NFC's opponent. All right, so next up, we got the Redskins. This is a playbook that I didn't spend a lot of time in last year at all. Um, I actually kind of did towards the end of, of Madden 17, but time ran out. I actually had a lot of plays lab that I never got to release. So, um, you know, I don't even know what I'm going to be looking at here. It might be different, might not be. But either way, the single back wing tight is, is the same as in the Eagles. A couple of decent plays here the same way. Pretty good run formation. Um, it's got the wing tight Z, so this looks, I think this was the same in both of them. So decent pass plays, PA counters, pretty nice. You can make stuff happen with that curl flat scene, tight end attack. Um, looks like a lot, like I said, a lot of the same plays. The wing pair was in the Eagles uh, the same way, although they didn't have the motion spot. I really liked the motion spot play. The O1 one trap's really good too. Uh, the Eagles playbook didn't have those. Uh, the ace, I think the Eagles playbook had that too. Uh, your skinny post again, uh, that's about it. Uh, Deuce Close, these look like the exact same single backs as in the Eagles, man. Like they really copied each other. Um, EA doesn't get too creative, I guess. And then the single back wing slot, there's a couple of decent plays here. Uh, the, the, the Y cross flood at the bottom. Um, now the PA stretch looks interesting, but there's not a lot going on there. The bunch, uh, once again, kind of basic. It's had, it does have the PA end around, though. I always look for that. It's a really good play. Um, then we got the doubles. Uh, let's see here. Single back. I mean, this looks like the exact same setup as the Eagles, to be honest with you, in the single back setting. Um, except they didn't have the Y off trio, but that's not a really great formation anyway. So they're not missing much. Uh, the I formation looks a lot bigger, uh, but the iPhone Pro is really kind of basic. It's it's something you want to have, but it's really basic. The iPhone slot, I think I'm creating a for, uh, something out of the iPhone slot right now, although this one looks better than the one I'm using. I'm using the Lions, 
and uh, the PAF cross wheel I don't think is in that. So this one here might be slightly better than the Lions, but a good formation nevertheless. I form wing, uh, really good as well. I think the Eagles had that. Um, so there's some, some good plays in there. Uh, like I said, the iPhone Pro is really not that special. Nothing too crazy in this particular gun. Uh, I guess I'm not a huge fan of the guns. I keep finding stuff that I'm not a huge fan of. The sale's okay. Um, you know, nothing really blowing my skirt up here, though. Uh, that, that counter looks interesting. You got two pulling guards. There's not typically two, two pull. It's a pulling tight end and a pulling guard. You don't typically, you don't typically see two people pulling on a counter. So that's something I might want to check out. Next up, I got the Cowboys. This is one of my favorite playbooks last year. I put a lot of time into this one, so I'm hoping to see. I hear it changed a little bit. Wing tight, same as the Eagles, same as the Redskins. Nothing too crazy here. Oh, that, that stick nod vertical, I don't think was in any of the other playbooks. Uh, they have the same wing tight Z. I mean, there's a lot of uh, reruns in the single back sets. It looks like the entire NFC East is sharing the same playbook. Um, you know, I can tell you what the next one is before I even get there. The ace, the ace slot, these are all pretty much uh, the same, although I don't think that that PA boot was in either one of them either. And uh, that one right there, that PA X burst cross looks interesting. That wasn't in either the drive view corner. I can make something out of that. Um, they do have the uh, wide receiver quick and all that. The PA misdirection looks like it has that same type of glitchy route on both sides if it still works. Like I said, I'm not sure if it still works. A slot, good play, formation. Uh, I think I saw this in one or two of the playbooks. It wasn't in the skins, but I think it was in the Eagles. Um, there's uh, the PA comeback dig right there at the bottom. Looks decent. A um, couple decent plays. The close sail, the close cross. Um, so I, I don't think that the uh, other playbooks had that. So this one here, uh, the single back here, I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but it's definitely uh, in the range of where the Eagles playbook was. Got a couple iForms. iForm Pro isn't too crazy. The PA slide is pretty good, though. Um, you know, let's take a look at the slot here. Uh, a couple of decent plays once again. A lot of these plays look like reruns. Although they have the China Special, which the other two playbooks didn't have. In the pistol, I mean, the PA boot's pretty good. It seems like every playbook has a strong power. Uh, it's better in some formations than others, but this is one of the better ones, I guess. Uh, there are two tight end um, formations that have that play that are a little bit better. The gun formation should hopefully be where it's at if it wants to separate itself from the Eagles playbook. Um, but I, right now, I'm still, I still think the best playbook in this division is the Eagles and might be one of the best in the game uh, but there's uh, some decent plays this is more of a passing playbook it feels uh, than the Eagles playbook was I think the uh, the Y off trips weak here um, that PA that post and cross was kind of glitchy last year it looks like the dig and go is the same route um, that might be one of the better plays the high high low dig I really like um, but once again these are all basically pass plays the trio offsets really good uh, the buck sweep, that looks like a new one. Um, a little bit different. Uh, but there's definitely some good looking plays. Some better looking gun formations, I'm going to say, in the Cowboys. Which might put them ahead of the Eagles. Um, just based off of that fact. There's some really good looking uh, pass plays. And then yeah, you also see the uh, spot and go again. So, I would say that the if you're a running guy, the Eagles. If you're a passing guy, the Cowboys. Um, and if the Redskins are kind of a mix, but nothing too impressive to me. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the Giants. And then last but not least, we got the Giants. The Giants playbook last year was one of my least favorite playbooks, although I did find some plays that I like, so I'm not going to expect them too much right now. Um, I think that they're going to be ranked at the bottom, in my opinion. So let's go ahead. Wing tight once again. Oh, they don't have the wing Z or whatever, uh, <laughs> like every other playbook in the division had. Uh, the belly week looks interesting. I think I ran that once or twice. It probably, I don't think it really was that great. Uh, the ace here, uh, like I said, it's in line with every other playbook. Um, the Deuce Close was in pretty much every other playbook, although they have the bench. I don't think the other ones did. The PA Misdirection is pretty good, too. Um, they have the Halfback Wham, which uh, I don't think uh, all the other playbooks had. Um, and then we, uh, we got the Wing. I think that was in most of them. Uh, nothing too crazy right there. Uh, the Bunch, let's see if it has my favorite play. I got to check every time. It does not. Major fail. It has the single back wide trips. A couple of decent plays, like the wide receiver post. Uh, and stuff like that, but it doesn't have the play that I, that I like that formation for anyway. 
it's got the I form tight, which is a really good uh, power running formation, but um, not much else to it. I mean, the PA fullback slide might be the best pass play, but mostly just a running formation that takes it down just a little bit. Full house is junk, uh, typically is. There's not much to it there. Um, just, just kind of a cool looking formation, but doesn't do a lot. And that's pretty much it. I mean, they're really basic. They have a decent single back. The I form and the full house are just like. It feels like it's missing a strong or weak or something, and he gets straight to gun. I hate playbooks that just feel like limited information, and that's what the, the Giants playbook feels like. So definitely, at this point, unless I find some gold in the gun, they're probably the worst playbook in the division. Um, and I can tell right now, I'm probably not going to see too much with vanilla packages like this. I, I, these formations just don't inspire me at all. Um, nothing really good looking uh, coming out of this. Um, like I said, the Giants is one of my least favorite last year. And it's looking to repeat that trend this year. All right, so overall, my take on the Giants playbook is it just wasn't, um, you know, wasn't nothing too crazy. Uh, the gun formations were kind of bland, um, and they were just limited everywhere else. So definitely the worst playbook in the division. So if I had to rank them, I would say uh, Giants last, uh, Redskins second to last, and then the Eagles-Cowboys, it really depends on what you like. I'm a running first guy, so I'm going Eagles first, Cowboys second. Um, but really, if you're a passing first kind of guy, then the Cowboys seem a little limited on the running plays. But um, overall, their uh, passing formations were probably superior. So take your pick there. That's the review. If you guys want me to do division by division, because I think this video went kind of long, uh, hit the like button or leave it in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit out.